Welcome, dear reader, to beautiful Seaview, the culinary capital of the Indigo Isles. In this entry of The Indigo Insider, I'll tell you everything there is to know about the fair city of Seaview, the largest and best-smelling settlement on Bluebell Island. Hard-working Orbachs, who sailed from some unknown land, arrived on Bluebell Island over 200 years ago. They dropped their anchors in Everdeep Bay and built Seaview from the ground up. From Seaview, Warpox spread across Bluebell Island, on to Goldcrop, and then to points beyond. The city remains the cultural heart of Warpox society, and the source of some of the best food in the Indigo Isles, or anywhere else on Galarian. Most of the lucrative Bluebell flower harvest comes through Seaview several times each year filling the city with coin as much as the delicious smells of gourmet meals. Though there are some interesting rumors about the way the bluebell harvest is related to the ebb and flow of mystic energies. Oh, but I digress. Although Seaview has only existed for a few centuries, it has the appearance of a much older city with all sorts of interesting ghost stories and urban legends popping up like weeds. Most buildings are made of brick and stone in traditional styles that were archaic. Even when the Orpok ships made landfall, and the buildings are painstakingly constructed to last a long time, which imparts an atmosphere of weight and age. I bet you're wondering why they built in such an old style, eh? All of it goes back to their long sea journey, during which generations went by, and they were stuck in the past is shown by the many texts they brought. People in Seaview work hard to provide for what we consider life's basic necessities, which might be deemed extravagances in other places, I suppose. Most inhabitants live in multi-room residences and some houses are particularly large. Well-made furniture is important to many in Seaview, as is keeping an orderly infrastructure to deliver clean water, take away sewage, and keep streets and buildings clean. The people of Seaview generally sit down to eat seven meals each day, although those of us other than Orpox usually only snack through some of them rather than filling our bellies each time. It takes a lot of effort to keep the city well-fed and well-maintained, but it's work the residents of Seaview are glad to put in, and those of the city council are there to help. Celebrations are common in Seaview, and by long-standing custom, they almost always revolve around feasts. Completing a big public works project is a cause for a celebratory meal, as are weddings, births, coming-of-age ceremonies, funerals, and many other life events. Many of these feasts begin with impromptu parades to gather the courses for the meals from around the neighborhood, which brings others who can spare some time to join in the fun. It's not only big events that warrant this attention. They're likely to declare a victory and a well-earned meal, even for something as simple as filling in a troublesome pothole or unraveling a particularly interesting coincidence. In many ways, Seaview is always the same whenever you visit. And you should. The buildings are stately. The people always work hard on regular schedules. The bluebell crops are abundant and the food is consistently good. Yet, the city is always different too. Food and fashion are remarkably changeable, and one year's ever-popular pickled salmon delights might be shunned as impolite to even mention the following year. All but a few exceptional restaurants rise and vanish with changing tastes. Heated elections constantly produce new politicians with big ideas to improve the city. The docks are always under repair because of the occasional threats from beasts lurking in Everdeep Bay, though whether there's some deeper mystery behind all that. Well, I think so, but we'll see if the city council wants to spend any funds checking it out. Nevertheless, whether working or relaxing, Seaview is an extraordinary place to visit.
Welcome, everybody. We're back. It's 25 yeah. North Podcast. Yeah. I'm Jason. What's going I'm on? Corey. Yeah. He's Corey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in the house. Sorry. I, ju- I just wanted to jump in there and yeah. see if I could catch anybody off guard. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm here Corey. again. Be weird if you weren't. Vesuvian. <laughs> Is that what you just go by now? <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah. It's method. <laughs> method. Yeah. Very Jared Leto of you. I oh have my God. For it. I do stretches for 15 minutes before I play Zabo just so I can imagine I'm tall and strong. I drink two whole bottles of rum so I can get really into character for Timothy. I don't know how you're going to... Yeah. I don't know how you're going gonna... to gonna... yeah. oh gain another seven feet, Corey. You're talking like these guys? Yeah. It's... Mind over matter. It's not about actually gaining the feet. It's about you, believing that I am big. You have I like am the large. You like pose I, in the mirror and you're like, I am tall. I am tall. I am tall. It's all right. Just roll the shoulders <laughs> until they look better. Just roll them until you get like a little bit of formation on the shoulders. See, it'll it's make the, you feel taller, Corey. It's fine. It's a chihuahua strat. Tiny body, amazingly large presence. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, as the kids say it nowadays, I've got the riz. <laughs> Riz Master Supreme, here we go. And, and by saying it that way, it completely invalidates the term I've been Yeah, told. I'm gonna say it's like, yeah, congratulations. You uh, you mine is rizzed yourself. Negative. No riz. idea what is going on. Uh, don't worry about it. Most people don't nowadays. <laughs> I sure Anyways, don't. I started it. it. <laughs> so cereal, what's going on? <laughs> Current eat <laughs> cereal, yeah. What's what's everybody? What? I mean, Frosted Flakes. Get All right, like, shut up. Said... We're playing. <laughs> what did you say? It was like a Seinfeld joke. <laughs> what's the deal with cereal? Doesn't matter. We're playing. Let's go. That's true. Let's get into it. Uh, cool. No, no banter. Into it. No banter. We're just playing. <laughs> yeah, people didn't want it anyways. <laughs> wow. People don't care about cereal. <laughs> People don't care about cereal. Mm-hmm. We'll have this conversation someday. Maybe yeah, someday. You know what? Nobody's nobody's talked about it in the Discord. I don't think they really want the want us to have the cereal. Let banter. Jason know we that you want me it. to talk about my passion of cereal again more openly in the <laughs> mainstream, not on some little piddly mutiny. Oh, I want it in the main show. I was gonna say, are we gonna have a cereal mutiny? <laughs> I can sit there and do a 45 minute mutiny myself on cereal. I won't lie. Oh, I'll sit there with you, man. I'll, we can do a tier list of cereal. I'll do it with you. No joke. So last time we played, so yeah, let us know. <laughs> y'all fought <laughs> an ethereal incorporeal spirit Ooh. from the ethereal plane called the killing intent. And that apparently was the thing that was murderizing everybody. And Zaba just murderized the, the Sioux Scholar, too. He wasn't a very good guy, you know. Yep. So. He could be alive. We haven't checked. Yeah, oh, he's definitely of... not alive. He, he got he, he got <laughs> he cleaved is. in half. He is a very little hopes dead. And dreams. I hit him with the two-hand bastard sword and, you know, just. <laughs> you could use your magic-y stuff and, like, make it better. No. I I unfortunately cannot magic two halves of one body back together. I wish I was that good of a healer. Maybe one day. Keep working. <laughs> well, let me at least make sure that the rest of us are patched up here. So yeah, while uh, while Vesuviac is patching you all up, um, the the killing intent you realize was the one that was actually causing and well, murdered the Dean de Cuisine and was causing all the ruckus here. But you did you did manage to grab find your maps. And you are headed back to the council now that you have your what you wanted to find. And you're making your way back to go see Prince Kalupi and see if he's gotten what he needs from the council. So So we came into a school, found out about a murder, murdered more people and then just walked. Well, you also found the 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 killer. Took, we yeah. spared the guards. They don't know that. Yeah, you took care. I'm just saying, these poor students were just leaving corpses left and right. Just no explanation. Well, you can go tell the town council, the people who are in no. charge of this place. 
That's way too much. You're headed there anyway. <laughs> Fine. Who was the seven healing for, by the way, Jackson? I used three seven? wounds on you. Oh, you did? Okay, let me, I guess, heal it up. Yeah. Then. Are you, are you good? Yeah, yeah I gotta heal it up. I, no. I do not want your healing. Keep it to yourself. What the fuck? Well, unfortunately, you hired a medic, so you are getting healed. I did not hire no medic. Keep it to yourself. Hey, guys. And Zabo will just walk away. <laughs> I'll take Vesuviac your is... healing, Vesuviac. Yeah, I was going to say, Vesuviac's not going to argue that. Uh, this guy just directly disobeyed orders and did a lethal hit on the guy that Vesuviac wanted the question, so... Hey, in Syl's exact words, it was, don't kill the guards. She didn't say anything about the sous chef. They said, try to at least not kill the guards, but Syl did also not kill the guards. lethally damage, do lethal damage to the thing. Oh, so. all, all Zaba heard was, don't kill guards, and that was okay. It's like mm. talking to a dog or a toddler. Yeah, it's like, don't do it. <laughs> Bloodhound. Don't do it. We need positive... Words, right. not negative. Well, words. so you got 13, so you're back full. Yeah. All yeah. right. I will All take right. my healing and then rush ahead to Saba. Yeah, you're good tokens. right now, Timothy, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll just fucking go. Timothy's <laughs> like, don't leave me behind. God. <laughs> and once we have maybe a little space from Vesuviac, I'll say to Saba, what's, what's up with the no healing? I mean, you want to be the most Emma. useful. I am very strong, you see, and this guy, he just give me a little scratch. He's nothing. I am fine. I am. It take more damage to make me bleed than to kill little Timothy. Well, I am all right. That's true. I take healing. Did you just call him Tiny I, I, Tim? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I uh, I take healing when I when I need it from distance. From distance. So you'll take his magic healing. Yes, this is fine. But what if we get attacked before then, and you're not at full strength, uh, and... I I will be fine. I have plenty of trick. Okay, I mean, it's, it's your choice. Yeah, thank you. I respect your respect. We are growing as a team. Yeah. We're doing things. <laughs> All right, now we go kill council. We talk to council. And talk to council. Talk to council. You could maybe stand outside. I mean, there's no shame in it. Other people have stood outside while we talked to people before. But, uh, what if they disrespect you? You need me there to tower above everyone and look downwards. You're very scary. Nobody wants to get eaten by frog demon. Well, I've been told this multiple times since I come to, to Moto Plane. We can call for you. All right, uh, like a cold word. Yeah. Like you shout it and I come, but How about... I don't come if I just hear normal shouts. Right, we'll shout help. That's the code word. Help, all right. I stand outside ready. Sounds good. Head out. All right, heading over. So you get to, you get to the, to the Sea View Council and you're, and you're greeted by the ushers. Just outside the high council, cha high chambers of the Sea View Council, and they welcome you back. Said, "Oh, he well, hello." It's uh, unfortunate, but it seems that the prince has already departed. Departed with our ship? No, 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 no. It, it appears that the negotiations were rather short, and well, he. Um, he kind of stormed off and well and he kind of leans a little little closer to you so and the usher says well it seems that the prince was quite frustrated at the time of his departure now I'm not privy to any of the foreign negotiations so I don't quite know why but well, nobility yeah, not... are uh, emotional and He'll get over it. He'll be fine. Well, uh, yeah, so it's... I don't know what to tell you, so... I mean, you're more than welcome to go visit the council. Or, um... 
Yeah. I suppose we could do that. Yeah. Should we speak to El Capitan first, or...? I mean, we could. I don't know how much these trade negotiations really matter to us as people. Not at all. That being said, we make it back to the ship and the captain goes, fuck them, and then I have to storm up here and bathe in blood of this sweet man who has been nothing but kind to us. Oh, I warn you, if you're here later tonight and you see us, just go home. It's best for you. I'm not a bad guy, but I leave your head to separate from body. We're not going to kill... say to whoever was talking to him. <laughs> the attendant. No, he's a good guy. He walk away like smart attendant. I... Yeah. Personally, I feel like the less time we spend up here by the academy, the better. Well, that's true. I mean, we could let them know. Timothy, didn't you want to talk to someone about a book or something? Yeah, the... He, like, looks like this is, like, pretty stupid now, but hey, ghostwriter, so they don't have to deal with the ghost anymore. They just gotta publish his book and bada-bing, bada-boom. Like, like Johnny Blaze? Like, well, on, on the motorcycle? Ghostwriter? No, 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 not like that one. Like, a spooky, sp- like, <laughs> you know, like Johnny, you know. Like Johnny Booth. Like Johnny. You know, his cousin. No motorcycle, no real talent, but still trying his very best. I, I, I'm I, blanking on the original Ghost Rider. The, one, the cowboy Cage. one. The cowboy one. I can't remember his name. I can't think of his name. Oh, the, yeah, it's the original one. since I went in on my went in on my Ghost Rider lore, mostly because the movies tainted that whole yeah, series for me so badly. Awful. Really? Oh, yeah. Somebody's Ghost phone just rang. The, yeah, apologies, that was of... mine. I, my mom should know I'm recording. <laughs> no, it's, you're, good. you're good, man. <laughs> it's, it's always the mom. Yeah, yeah we're To the point awful. where Ghost Rider 2 might be one of my most hated movies um, that I've seen ever because of how bad it was. But yeah, all right, back to it. Uh, so yeah. we're going back to the ship, or are we no, just going to go in and deal with these people? Go in and talk to these people real quick. Okay. I stay outside with attendant. I mean, if you change your mind and you want Vesuviac to patch you up, this would be the time for it. No. I'll stay outside with him just to make sure that nothing that goes seems wrong. Best. Thank you, Vesuviac. I'll, I got your back. Travis Parham. Travis Parham was the was the Ghost Rider during the American Civil War. <laughs> the original, the American Civil War. Okay, yeah. Anyway, sorry. The way you froze Jason for me, my sight. Sorry, you just went trap, and then he tra- I thought he was gonna say trap. I was very scared. No, Travis a Parham. Trap. Yeah, Travis oh, no. Parham. We we split the party, and it's a trap. That's oh one way God. to spring it oh, on us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, there you go. So you're, you're, you're going back in to talk to the council? Timothy and Sil are, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Timothy and Sil. Rag, okay. tag, team. All right. So you you go into the council, and you realize that that there's only three members here. So the Gamayan, um, Counselor Pelbori, is not present. But the, the three Orpox are there, mm-hmm. and they invite you in. Oh, please, please come in and tell us. Tell us about the exploits at the Academy of Tastes. We're not staying long. Um, we got mm-hmm, what we mm-hmm. needed. Someone was murdered by a... Uh, look at Timothy. Is a yeah, ghosty Timothy, thing? Like, yeah, clears his throat. So y'all have a spirit problem at your college. Just letting you know. And he brings out the Ghost Rider's book. And, like, turns it to them and just kind of, like, pushes it forward. Just as an FYI, publish this. You'll get rid of the ghost that's haunting the library. Students won't get attacked. You know, basic things. But your dean of the college sounds like he beefed it, which is not great. And it was due to a very, very vengeful spirit. Not happy with, uh things that happened and took over your sous chef of that college and he kind of beefed it as well too so you're you got new hire like you've got some new slots to fill out if you're gonna hire on more people but we took care of the situation there you know 
I have to ask. I heard about the I heard about the the, the troubles over there at the academy, but you know, I I'm not quite sure. So you're saying that there was a ghost, and at, you're saying that the ghost was the one that was causing all the troubles at the at the academy, and yeah, they were the ones that called the killed the the dean de cuisine and the Sioux scholar. No, there's yeah. oh, there's cool. one ghost in the library in the old mm. book place. Yes, part of mm-hmm. the place, and there's a separate spirit that killed people. We we took care of the one spirit, the, the killing spirit. Okay. The old book mm-hmm. ghost is temporarily taken Disabled. care of. It's it's taken care of. But you if you want to get rid of it permanently, Timothy taps the book again, really suggest you publish this. Okay. Just looking out for you after all. Okay. Now that is quite concerning because you know that the the academy is my alma mater, and oh boy, this is a real pickle. Hmm. Well, you well all thank seem... you for sh- thank you for sh- sharing this with me. Now I haven't forgotten that you know that you you visited at the the academy to find the map locations corresponding to. The descriptions in the journal. So, I, I hope you found what you are looking for. Oh yeah, we got, we got what we needed. We found what we needed. We might be on your island for a while longer. Hopefully, that's not an issue. It sounds like perhaps you and our captain had uh, falling out. Mm. Oh no, there was no falling out. There's just the trade negotiations he was looking for. Wow! 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 Um. Let's just say that, um, well, we uh, are in a bit of a situation here, and, uh, let's just say that, um, well, we can't produce enough crop, and the crop we do have, um, well, we're gonna have to save it for ourselves, you know? Sure, yeah, I mean, Well, I don't know why you're sharing that information with him. It's not exactly... Well, you know, it's out. In, it's out in the public. It's out in the public. But yes. Well, we're not exactly able to. We don't have a, enough to share. But anyway, here, I would love. We would love to provide any assistance that we can to uh, with the with the map and with your expedition. Any other clues that you that you that you would want? And by all means, we could, we, we could, uh, we'd be willing to help. As a matter of fact, I could, I could take a look at, I could look at the, at the maps and provide any notes. And if you, if you would like, it's cause we know the, we know these, this island. Sure. We've grown yeah. up here. Uh, we're going, you know, take out the map the one map of this island, not the other mm-hmm. maps. We're going to this cave in these woods. Uh, you know, we think that's where the next fragment will be. Any suggestions? Oh, oh well. Looks like that's, um... Well, it looks like this is actually gonna be... Well... Don't you agree? Well, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, that's Briar Grove. Oh, that's quite dangerous and overgrown forests, several miles in in- inland here. It's uh, it's gonna be very treacherous, and I wouldn't wish anybody visit that place because, oh boy, you're gonna you're gonna be feeling it. Oh yeah, this is um, that's that. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. But if you um, you know what? Here, if 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 you if you want to give me a couple days, and this is uh, Pumbus, 
That's mm -hmm. the the one that the the friendly one, not the one that looks like uh like a like a, like a carnival barker. Got it. The friendly one. He's like, well, you know, um, if you want to give me a couple days here, I could uh I could go and look through the uh, council records and see if we have any information about the Briar Grove. Um, like I said, it's dangerous and overgrown. It's very much inland for for uh, in this island. But I could pull whatever information we got. Yeah, I suppose that's, I mean, time is of the essence, so if you can, you know, as quickly as possible, but we'd rather not walk in blind. And Pumice gives a heavy sigh. <sighs> Well, I gotta admit that uh, the spirit at the academy isn't the only one. It's not the only, uh... Well, it's not the only specter trouble we've had afflict Seaview in the recent days. In fact, recent troubles have reduced our bluebell flower harvest, like we mentioned. So we're not able to spare any of these re resources that your prince is looking for. And then, uh, Counselor Manino... The, the the carnival barker one who seems genuinely concerned it's clear that his expectations were quite high and we regret that we weren't able to negotiate anything even with someone of his high class and refinement we're not being obstinate and there have been too many troubles for us to release many flowers to our trading partners and then Gunlow, or Gunlu, shifts in her seats. Since you handled yourselves with the Academy of Tastes, we hope you might be able to aid us in resolving some of the town's other troubles. We've been discussing what sh we sh should get the highest priority, but we can't agree. Perhaps it's best for us to tell you and what we'd like done, and you could approach them how you best see fit, maybe? I mean, we're happy to hear you out. If you want to tell us what's going yeah. on. Okay. Well, Gunlu kind of nods, looks at the other two. Well, I've see I've received some worrying reports from my cousin, Alasha. She's a surveyor over in some offices actually quite near here. Here in Seaview. The farm survey records, which Alasha maintains, and I have to admit it with some unparalleled precision, well, well, they have somehow become muddled, causing fights over boundary lines and putting crop ownership in dispute. Uh, poultry crops have made these fights even worse, and so maybe you could um, go and help out Alasha and see what's going on over in, in her shop. It's quite unlike her to have these muddled records. Like, like, like I said, she is very meticulous. So I don't quite know what's going on. This is unlike her. And um, farm productions is, I think that since we've had all these troubles with the flower harvest, the obvious place to visit is, uh, is Dardis Farms. It's the largest of the bluebell growers close here to the city. <clears throat> and, uh... Well, let's just call a spade a spade here. Uh, the Dundases and the Parvises have always been close friends, right? So your interest is... Well, I mean... That has nothing to do with it. And, you know... So says you. Regardless, the Dardis Farms is the largest of the Bluebell crop growers. So if you wanted to take a look and see what's causing some of this turbulence with the crop, with the harvest, that would be the obvious place. And he kind of glares at Manino. Two good things. Manino then finally is like, huh, snorts. Well, at least I have the balls to admit that my request is something of a personal one. My favorite restaurant, the Boy Watcher Inn, has recently closed. The inn is located here in Seaview on the other side of town. Its proprietor is a former lover of mine and she's gone missing since announcing only a couple days ago that the inn 
is closed for supernatural reasons. And I'm hoping that that word, supernatural, has piqued your interest. And you could perhaps visit the Wave Watcher in first. You know, because it's supernatural. Super natural. Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, Indigo Isles was having. What's the Gamayan Island? Is it Indigo Isles? The Gamayan um, Islands, Gold Crop. Gamayan. Gold Crop, thank you. That's all of them. <laughs> Uh, Gold Crop's having similar supernatural issues, which could be, you know, tied to this whole thing. So we can look into these things, but I really would encourage you to talk to the other leaders of the other islands and maybe, you know, look into these things together. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll oh. be back. And they and they kind of look to one another, the three of them. Well, and it's been decided that if you, um, as a token of thanks for helping us out with each of these missions, not only will we pull the records about the Briar Grove for you, but we could spare three crates of blue bluff flowers. Now, it's three crates less than your prince wanted, but it's three crates more than he'll get. Yeah, I mean, I thought you were already pulling the records, but that's generous. Uh, Timothy and I will go and, you know, yeah. propose this to, to our companions. Uh, we'll be back in, what'd you say, two days? That's how long you yes. need? All right. Yes. Shall we, Timothy, anything else you want to... Uh, no, I'm pretty good. I got all the information I need. Y'all got spirits, supernatural things taken care of? I, I've got my hand. I've got a hand in that kind of stuff. I can help figure out what the hell's going on with it. Sounds good. Uh, head back out to yeah, Zabens is yeah. Obvious. Cool. I, I, so I, I want to. I want, I want to. Oh, go ahead. I just want to make sure that we understand each other. It'll be two days for me to pull the records, but the crates, you'll have to come back at a later point because it take it'll take time for us. Mm -hmm. to harvest, dry, and pack the flowers. That's fine. I mean, we've got our actual mission yeah. to do, and I, I, this whole prince trading thing, I know it's very important to you all, but, it'll, you know, you'll have time to deal with that. So. It'll very conveniently take just as long as it takes for you to reach the end of this chapter. Wow. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy how that works. Man! Oh, yeah. So, the whole time that uh, Saba and Vesuviak have been standing outside, was the retainer still hanging out outside there, just kind of keeping an eye on us? The usher? Oh, no, no, no. He yes. he, he, oh. he met you guys when you came no, into the no building, and then he, or anything. he went off and took. he started taking care of some of his own business. Mm. No guard or anything like that? Uh, probably not. I mean, you guys are in uh. the waiting room of the chambers, right? There's people walking around. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were in the waiting room or if this was like a long corridor that just goes straight to the front door. Oh, it's, it's, no, it's not like, like a castle. Like, like long hall style. All right. So yeah, I guess it's more like a like a city hall type situation. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Well, then it doesn't matter what I was thinking. No. Oh. I think no Vesuviak the entire presence. time is just just staring. At at uh, Zaba, just trying to think like, how the fuck am I supposed to get this guy on the redemption path? This guy seems only want to wanting to kill. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, I see you staring at me. Is there something of concern? You know, I'm a good guy. I've not hurt any of our friends. I have protected you from, you know, the the chef. I step into front line. You know. Give and you it, opportunity to patch up Tiny Timothy. Why stare so intently at me? I thought we are making bond of combat. Because in the process of doing this, you ended up, you know, uh, the Suviak looks around. He doesn't necessarily want it known that uh, Zaba was the one to 
do the final strike on the sous chef. Um, so the sous chef just says, like, you are the one that did end up revealing the spirit to us. And, uh... I could sense it, you know? The I, issue... Uh, the issue intuition. is not that you could sense it. The issue is that you seem way too eager to draw blood. Oh, no, I'm just... You know, you guys were in danger. Still said we're not going to prison today, so that means I fight. And, uh, you know, I uh, sometimes overestimate strength of the smaller people. You know, I knew some Orpox that were very strong, um, hearty individuals really could take a blow. These ones, not so much, I guess. Be that as it may, it could have still put us in a lot more trouble than if you had... Hit it with the flat of your blade rather than the sharp side. Oh, I, uh, I burn city to ground before it become big problem. No problem, I got you. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, how right. I've... Burning a city to the ground is how I got to be this size. So maybe eh. cool off on that one and you won't have a god constantly hounding your ass to do better. <laughs> nah, the gods want nothing to do with me. You know, I, uh, you know, it's, it's like art. You know, some people make paintings and other people make sonnets or or beautiful poems that make you weep. I make the trophium of bodies. They start off with blood and flesh, but with time they become this orderly statue of bone. It's a form of artistry. I, you know, I figure dragon understand at least little bit of, you know, the beauty in, in combat. I don't attack those that don't deserve it or are unarmed but you know he has you know he had that thingy you carry it now you know it uh, it made you bleed the main issue with this entire situation is that they were accusing us of something that you know you yourself admitted that you are known to have done and then two people and then two people who were not impacted by the spirit are still living, walking around, and saw what they saw. Do you really think hey, that puts saw. us in a good light? Hey, they saw us not hit them and kill them, and they saw I was strong enough to, you know, strike them down, backs turned or not, but, uh, no, we left them alone. We told them to run away. There's scary spirit. No, we are the good guys, no? We'll see what the town thinks tomorrow when we wake up. Yeah, we'll see if there's town left tomorrow if they have wrong answer. Hmm. <laughs> I think Vesuviak <laughs> at this point is just going to be like nervously fidgeting with his uh, onk. <laughs> for just like sit there like Sarah Ray is like, please don't let this asshole do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy comes in after the conversation. Hey, what are you guys talking about out here? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, shooting the shit. Uh, you know, oh, the hell yeah. guy stuff. Yeah, you would have fit right in, eh, buddy? Yeah, loose yeah. ends mainly. All right. So you guys come in. Yeah. That yeah. all sounds really uh, important. We got some new information. Sounds like there's and weird stuff happening in town and for some reason that's our problem I I don't know why the prince is squabbling with these leaders and they want us to go deal with it we could just ignore them come back in two days get information about the cave we're going to but if you guys want we can go check out these leads it's up to you I, I mean it could matter personally I don't know about you guys. I think it'd be good to do them rather than just sit on our asses for two days or, you know, getting more supplies and things like that. Up to you. I mean, you are, I guess, our leader? Boss? I guess that's true. I'm not going to tell you that you have to do this. You know, you signed up to help me collect these shards. And, you know, some of this is supernatural. Maybe it has to do with the shards. Some of it honestly just sounds like petty squabbles. It's nobles. It's always petty squabbles. Very true. But yeah, well, I mean... Are... The, the Talden would know most of all. Yeah. 
Well, the, uh, if they're saying supernatural, I was actually talking to Zaba here that uh, two people did witness what they witnessed when we fought. Being able to handle a supernatural thing that's actively going to harm the town could paint us in a more favorable light if those two people end up talking. That's I mean, not if those a bad two idea. people end up talking, we can take care of that. But yeah, I mean, we can go. There's a restaurant. Saba points. <laughs> eh? See, I told you. There's no problem. Saba just, sh- or uh, Vesuvia just Zaba shoots a look at Saba. <laughs> yeah, there's. He's very upset with everything happening right now. <laughs> Timothy leans over to Vesuviak, shakes out his like little water skin full of rum. He's like, you want? Yeah, Vesuviak will take a swig. Fuck yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a restaurant, its owner's missing. People say it's supernatural. That's over by the docks though. We could also go to some farm near the city or this surveyor who's in the city. They're squabbling about paperwork or something. You want to just go out of town? We can always do the other things later if we want. Well, I feel like if we're heading we back could, to uh, the dock to Kalupi, to we could check out the restaurant on the way. Sure, yeah, we, we could, could always, talk to uh, you know, split up. Me and Timothy go talk to the surveyors. You guys go to the bar. We meet up, confirm, you know, collaborate information, then we go to the farm. Yeah, we could do that. As long as you remember not to kill the people you run into. Yeah, no, I, I, like I was saying, him. like I was saying to Vesuviak here, I don't kill innocent, unarmed, you know, no, no threat people. Only those to draw arms against me first and take the blood of myself or foes, you know. I could take a good beating, well, fist fight style and leave the guy, you know, buy him a drink after. But, you know, you pull a blade, it's a different, it's a different scenario. Sure, yeah. I, I, I'll, I will do my best to not leave trail of blood and destruction. I'll make sure he actually doesn't. The only promise I want from you, Zaba, is that you will not be the first to draw your blade. Oh, never. You know, it is not honorable. You know, there is a code to these things. A warrior's death. You know what? Vesuviak respects that. He's gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> drop it and move on. Finally take get that to split the party. <laughs> yeah, uh, splitting yay. the party! The smartest idea! Oh, no. It's just because I, I get the feeling the party. Yeah. Combat. I try and do it every time I get the chance. I won't yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's funny. I like the chaos factor. Yeah, I agree. All right, well, fortunately, I still have a heal spell in case that supernatural entity yeah, still wants healer, to rear right? its head. Like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're going, going with yep. the healer. Okay. I'm going with you. Don't worry. <laughs> Perfect. Timothy just thinks to himself as like as fucking Syl and and Vesuviak leave. He takes a sip of his rum. He's like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, we need to uh, get you some more of that before we uh, get to business, eh? Nah, no, trust me, I'll be just fine. Takes another sip. It's looking a little bit empty, though. No. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Takes another sip. <laughs> Let's go talk to this surveyor about why she's bad at making maps. So who's going where? <laughs> Vesuviak and Syl are going to be going to the spooky restaurant. No, and... no, 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 no. We are not no. going to the spooky restaurant. We're going to the farm. And then once we regroup, we'll go to the one that's got the spooky the rest- restaurant. The, the yeah. spooky restaurant. So. Gotcha. I got my wires crossed. <laughs> We're not then, going into uh... combat without the whole group. Spooky <laughs> yeah. restaurant. Obvious combat. <laughs> yeah. Then Frogman and Tiny Tim are going to the surveyor. <laughs> Call me fucking Tiny Tim. God damn it. <laughs> okay. We gotta start it early. That way that's I all the Discord it. refers to you as. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are splitting the party. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I mean, fuck it. We both. All we'll right. see if we get a TPK this session. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. So half of us will make it out a lot. It's fine. Yeah, they're not all combats. I'm gonna activate as the map changes. That's good. 
Yeah, I'm gonna uh -oh. activate the surveyor. Oh, that's us. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no. I do not know. I had to take token with vision. I just have a dark screen. Oh, this is good. <laughs> and the surveyor is Zaba? Yeah, it's Zaba and me. Yes. Okay. I don't know why anybody listens to Zaba. Oh, like Timothy, like, looks a little bit. Thanks for a moment. Looks back at Zaba. Hey, so why did you want to go with me? Oh, I don't know. I haven't had much chance to, uh, talk one-on-one -on -one with you, you know, build that uh, masculine bond outside of combat. You know, I talked with Vesuviak. I think he's starting to understand me. But, uh, you know, you are still fresh. And I am, you know, I am impressive and kind of scary to look at, so... Not the I figure, scariest you know, thing I've I'll... seen. Oh, well, that's good, but a little one-on-one -on -one time helps set heart at ease. No, that's fair, actually. All right, so, so do you want to talk or want me to? I'm very bad at it. I can do the talking. I'm worried that you, like, he gestures to Zaba. All of you might make someone piss their pants. Do you want me to wait outside, like, at uh, No, 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 come hall? with me. Good, good lord, no, I don't want to be alone with some of these people. Okay, I, uh... I'm I am wearing a very face. nice suit, you know? I look yeah. like proper businessman. No, you know what? I will say that. You look you look very handsome. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. I protect you until last breath. I appreciate that. <laughs> Timothy, I guess, knocks on the door first. This business, you just go in. Well, just knocking this nice courtesy, and I'm going to open up the door. Okay, so open you open up the door and you notice that this is a tidy office and has a reception yeah. area to the south, a meeting mm -hmm. room to the north, beyond the ve velvet privacy curtain that's currently open. Okay, yeah, Timothy's going to walk on in and I think he like whistles a little bit as he walks in he's like, <laughs> dang. This is a nice as hell business. Yeah, the 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 velvet cur the now that you stepped in the yeah. privacy curtain is open, and detailed and technical maps of all kinds adorn every one of the walls. Each of them stamped with a wax seal. Hmm. Place looks real nice. Timothy just like looks around a little bit. It's like, hey, anyone home? I closed the door just a little bit too hard. And Timothy jumps up. It's like, gods, warn me next hey, time you're going to do that. I do not see a bell on desk, so loud door, you know. You know that's fair. And as you as you close the door, it's like, oh, and she and you notice an Orpok, oh. who was who was bent down, it's like behind the desk. Oh, hi, oh, jeez. Okay, sorry, I didn't hear you. Come in. Hi. Yeah. What's what can I do for you? And I'm just going to show this. And that's the Orpak you see, if you want to describe oh, it for our audience. She's really pretty. Uh, she is a... She is a redhead Orpak with a cute kind of like little crown almost. No, it's not really a crown. It's more like a... Tiara? Tiara, yeah. It's like, like a, a tiara circlet with... kind of deal. Yeah. Circlet, that's the word. She's got a lovely circlet with a green gem in the middle of it. Her hair is kind of up into like a nice like bun-esque, like long flowing bun with two potentially chopsticks to like hold it in place. Her outfit is a lovely like green bluish tone to it. Uh, very like, very nice looking. She looks pleasant. She looks like someone you would have a nice cup of tea with and have a great time with. <laughs> and her nails are also painted. Oh yeah, nice they are. Green. I like her. She just looks pleasant. Timothy. <laughs> Timothy, when he sees oh, her. Oh, no, Timothy. <laughs> what? You let the horn dog into the situation. You fucked up, idiot. <laughs> Timothy, oh, when no. he sees her, puts his arm, like, on, on the desk. And he says, hey, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 
just took Imagine just it's probably second. around this time I hit my head on a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, s- sorry. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. So, yeah, is there anything I could do for you? I Yeah, actually we're here to help you out. The God, the people here running this town so you're need us to help? The council. Yeah, the council, council, sorry. Got a little bit distracted. <laughs> and you can see, you, you, you can kind of almost like see her kind of doing the calculations in her head. Mm-hmm. And you get you get the impression that she's very clever. And yeah. it, it doesn't take her very long to put two and two together. And she realizes immediately, oh, yeah, so that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, okay, I I really appreciate you coming by. So here's the issue. Yeah, what's up? Sea View relies upon my maps, and my maps have become somehow unreliable. And I don't mean my newest maps. I mean, my skills are as sharp as they've ever been. Mm-hmm. What I mean is my existing maps and my older maps have changed. And I can't recall every line and corner I've ever drawn, of course. But I know my style. And I know my skill. And most of the ones I've pulled out, not all of them, but most of them are in a very different style. Like they've been drawn with a much clumsier and less professional hand. So they are worse than your maps. I mean, perhaps somebody's replacing them. I don't know. Hmm. But somehow... Somehow, the ink on the page is changing, and what? I'm at a loss to what's happening. And uh, I could really that's... use the help. Yeah, that's. Who? Okay, that's interesting. Let me ask you this: Have you had anyone breaking in here by any chance recently? It's only been just you getting in. Like, how long has it been going on? It's just been me, and this is this has been going on for the past past few days okay so it's not been long it's only been you here no one else works with you by the way just just you with the shop it's just me powerful woman uh anyways that's crazy can we look at one of these maps yeah absolutely and she she pulls one out and she's like see you are not uh very fond of pick your least favorite map that is uh misbehaving just in case I have theory that we may need to you know do things to that no and she and she ushers you over to to the east or yeah. to the west and yeah, she, I, she's like follow me and she yeah. she takes you over to the tables and I she's see, like we'll see. see here and she kind do of I yeah. believe that they're she, leading to us to a trap Timothy doesn't care he is absolutely willing to listen to this woman right now. And she and she points out, she's like, okay, so this is my map. And yeah. she's showing you, it's like, okay, so this is how I draw it. And then uh-huh, she points uh-huh. out another one. She's like, look at here. This is yeah. not my style. You can see plainly right here. And she's like yeah. pointing it out. And what are you doing yeah. in the in the interim, Zaba? Do I feel like this is a an immediate trap that's being laid for us. I mean, roll, roll perception. Give me a secret perception. <laughs> a Got secret it. perception. Mm-hmm. I think I may have just clicked initiative, which was definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> well, God, I got jump scared by hearing dice. <laughs> no, not at all. You're not getting that impression all at right. all. I step <laughs> into a room and observe. <laughs> I love Zappa so much. God damn it. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. That's super weird. Alright. Timothy's gonna study the maps, the, the the differences between the two of them. She definitely did point out how they are different, but I'm trying to think. Would this be an arcana thing to check? Like I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to think what best to do here. Give me a second. I uh I want to 
Yeah, I think what I want to do... This wouldn't count esoteric. No, I don't think... Because I'm trying to think of lore and stuff like that. No, uh, I want to roll something, obviously. Do you know anything about this? No, I don't think... Well, I'm trying to think of what I would, you know? Like, I don't know what, what that could what possibly be. What seems right? You got a, a map that's changed, and what feels right uh, to honestly, Timothy? Honestly, Arcana feels right. And I'm trained in go. it. So I'm so, going to roll So how about unless... this? How about this? Make me... Yes. Just roll me blind, a, a secret d20, and then I okay. have access to your skills, and I can take a look. So a blind or, GM yeah, just a, a, yeah, blind... Blind GM roll, and I can look at your and skills. And a D20. Give me yep. a second here. I'm pulling that up. Just that, and I only just want one D20, not two. That'd be weird if I wanted two. Yes, this should be good. Sorry, give me a second here. That should have rolled. I don't know right. if it's yeah, in or not. You got it. You got it. You're good. Okay. Yeah, so nothing's coming to mind. You're too distracted by by yeah, this by her, hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured, I figured, I figured. <laughs> he like takes a few like glances over once in a while. I was like, Yeah, okay. there's something. There's something about her confidence and her her confidence, her power. Just yeah. a powerful, strong woman. And Timothy's like, Oh, thank God, finally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Timothy takes a, a beat, thinks for a moment. And while he's, like, looking at this map, he looks to her, and he... Uh, I, got, I got an interesting question for you. Have you noticed any spirits, any ghosts, any things like that in your shop as of late? Or, I don't know, candles sniff, like, snuffing out whenever they're supposed to be lit? Like, things moving on their own when they shouldn't have? You know... I haven't, mm -hmm. but I, I've been, I mean, I've been preoccupied. I, I guess I could, I mean, I could, t I could show you the, the, um, the map plates and, and yeah, but in the workroom, but I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I haven't noticed anything. Maybe yeah. there's, maybe you would see something like, yeah. I guess. I could. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I I wouldn't have been here at night when when I would notice any extinguishing lights. Okay. So. Hmm. But the, I mean, that's the only that's the only place that would have any lights. Yeah. Every everything here has has the windows. That's fair enough. It's just weird that the ink's changing on its own, and it's like. Is it yeah. when you like look away for like a second that it just changes or like You know, I wouldn't know. It's just, it's I, I pull I haven't seen it change. I pull the maps mm. and the map is different. Okay. I haven't actively seen the ink change. Got now it. that being said, the only place where the ink is is in the workroom. Yeah. And that's in the back like I don't keep any of my supplies up front up front just has the collections and the maps so I mean if you want to take a look back there yeah, yeah absolutely. I want to look at that really quick absolutely and she kind of comes back here mm -hmm. and she's like it's it's I mean it's through here and she's like oh please by all means it you can go first yeah is uh, she saying that's a Zaba first or oh just just She's yeah. just being polite. She's just yeah. Like, yeah. I uh, I will check door first. Timothy nods like mm, yes, yes, you, yes. You meaning you're you're gonna you're gonna like oh yeah check I'll like open perceive the door. it or no I'll just go first. Well, right, back while up, Zaba's back going, up then first. Yeah. yeah. Because I can't, I can't see nothing. So that's well, fair. Hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, got it. Sorry. Because you triggered a trap. Oh. It's funny that you mentioned a trap. Because ah. you legit triggered a trap. I even looked for them. Yeah, you did, and it didn't roll well. That sounds about accurate for me. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Oh, no. You click save? No, 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 no. I'm going to reveal it, because guess what, guess what club you're part of? 
no. pitfall club? No, just no. L- look at what you rolled. I just yeah, revealed it's two it. Club. Part of the oh, two club. Oh, another two. Part of the two club. Oh, just killing it. Absolutely crushing All it. Honorings for the two crew. To so, summon Cthulhu. So this is oh. going to be ink darts. A creature touches or moves the curtain, entering the area. Effect. Spots of solidified ink fling out at the triggering creature, which takes that much damage. But you have to attempt this reflex save. So make that reflex save real quick. Ooh, I rolled bad (gasps) with a four, giving me a 12 total. Do you want to take... I don't have a hero point. No matter... No matter how much damage I do to my throat, I just haven't earned one yet. I think when Timothy sees how oh, I take this damage. Yikes. Oh, that was God. 33 damage. Holy. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That was a critical failure, so you take double. <gasps> yikes. Cool. So Zaba's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, unconscious. You're, you're unconscious. I'm bleeding to death. Dying too. Why didn't you let me heal you? <laughs> Better that I open that than any of you guys. That's I mean, so that's fair. fair, but still. Holy! <laughs> I think the result's the same, though. No, and anyone who opened it would be dying too. Unless they did a good enough reflex roll. All right. Timothy is fucking baffled and looks to her. <laughs> Hold on. And he's like, oh yeah. Timothy can take can can handle this because you have in your inventory. You remember you took some elixirs. I did, I did, I did, which so. is why I was gonna fucking just pop one of those bad boys real quick. And, uh, 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 yeah, Alasha is just like, what the? F- That's what I was about to ask. And, like, Timothy takes out one of his elixirs of life? Yep. Yeah, he takes out one of his elixirs of life. It just fucking pops it in Zaba's mouth. All right. Fucking wake up, samurai. There you go. Well, it's 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 a one, but you're not dying anymore, at least, Saba. Yeah. So you're at one I'll hit. Take it. You're at one hit points. <laughs> so you're healed. You're you're not dying, and you're just wounded one. All right. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Hey, Do you want to run and get your party? Uh, I think Zaba's immediate reaction would probably be to grab at this Orpok shopkeeper. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't. Is. Is trap. I. Yeah! Yeah, we know! It's, there's we a trap! <laughs> <laughs> there's a trap! <laughs> yeah! Yes, yeah, Zaba, we know, buddy! It's okay! Hey, I healed you! Don't and worry. It, and yes. it's been triggered, and you can actually see the opening now. I bet so many trap in room. Let's go get Vesuvius and him in first. <laughs> Let's get him to heal you. How about them apples? I, Timothy. I just take I just take rest. I go back to boat, oh and I rest. Oh, my God. You... Oh man, just take the healing from him. He's more than happy to heal you. He is. We talk later. I go to ship and rest. Oh. Uh, Vesuvius God. is just going to crawl out. Or not Vesuvius. Zava's just going to crawl out of here and hope that Timothy follows. Timothy looks to Zava crawling out, looks back at the lovely Orpok, says, okay. I'm gonna go collect some of my associates. Do you want to come with us so we don't have whatever the fuck that is hurting you potentially? Uh, I, I'm not staying. I'm not staying here. Oh yeah, I figured. Uh, <laughs> Timothy just like motions like, if you want to come with us for like a little bit, we're gonna get the rest of our party mates. I can. I'll look into this more. Don't worry. We'll we'll help you out with this. This this now just got way more interesting. Yeah. I mean, it was already interesting with you being here, but now it's way more interesting. And she will take a second to lock the door. She's like, "And I'm not letting anybody else in here either, because oh, yeah. 
yeah. We we just saw your your big frog friend. Yeah. Just like get his throat sliced. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That was a lot. Was that ink, by the way? Yeah. I am Zabotrov. I fought against hordes of. Zaba, you of got Kindleus. sliced by ink. This is bullshit. I hate the material plane. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. <laughs> and Zaba's party party almost ended. <laughs> but it didn't. So we hope yours doesn't end. And we'll be back next Jeez. week. For, and hopefully the, the entire party will be here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. I got what I deserved. Saba, please! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs>The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.